Okay, in this video we're going to look at religious expression in Australia 1945 to the present. Excuse me. And specifically we're going to look at um, we're going to look at outline, we're going to look at outline the changing patterns of religious adherence from 1945 to the present using census data. Okay, so every five years there's a census and uh, the data from that is collated. One of the questions on that talks about your religious affiliation. That is, uh, do you believe in a religion? Do you have a religion? What is it? So up until um, 1971, this wasn't much of an issue, but in 1971 they put on the census paper, if no religion, write none. And this changed uh, the way... Um, people responded to that question. So from our census data, from, from what you will need to, to know here is you'll need to be able to look at the data and from that extrapolate different things, you, not just what is the most popular religion or what is the least popular religion, but why trends are happening. You need to be able to uh, give reasons for that. So generally, Christianity is the most common uh, religion, and within that, uh, Catholicism is the most common denomination. Uh, and within that, again, the Anglo-Celtic uh, part of Catholics, uh, uh, Catholics were generally Anglo-Celtic, that is coming from Great Britain, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, up until 1945, but after the war, uh, big European influx because of the displacement after World War II because uh, of the bombing throughout Europe. And so we had uh, Croatians, Serbians, Italians, Germans, uh, Spanish, uh, many coming in, also many uh, so uh, Catholics. And so the, the makeup of the Catholic religion changed very much. And also we had a lot of people coming from the Orthodox countries, uh, Greece, Russia, um, we had um, Turks, all, um, certainly from the old Yugoslavia. So the Orthodox denomination also changed dramatically after World War II. So looking at the census data, oh, sorry, uh, Catholics also, a lot of Catholics came from the Philippines uh, during Indo-Chinese um, Indo wars and a lot of refugees being accepted um, and a lot of Catholics come in from the Philippines. Uh, so within our census data, what do you have to know? Well, you've got, you need to have a look at, especially the 2016 census data, but you need to look at a lot of the census data and compare the statistics there. Uh, we look, generally you would say that uh, 18 to 34 year olds come through as more likely to have a religion other than Christianity. So 18 to 34 year olds, but uh, 65 plus, generally they will nominate as being Christians. Um, in 1966, interestingly, 88% of those surveyed or who filled in the census said that they were Christian. In 1991, 74%, and then it was down to 2016. In 2016, uh, those uh, affiliating with Christianity were 52%. Uh, of those, Catholicism is the largest uh, at 22.6%. Uh, the uh, people who, who said that they had no religion in uh, 2006 was 19%, and in 2016 census, the people who indicated they had no religion was 30%. So that's a third of the population third of those fill in the census form said that they have no religion. So that was a dramatic um, increase in the, in the last census. So you need to be able to answer questions around why that is happening. Uh, you also need to know about the Uniting Church. The Uniting Church consists of the Methodist, Presbyterians and Congregationalists. So what else does our census data tell us? Uh, it, it says that we're a religiously diverse nation with Christianity remaining the most common at 52%. It says that Islam at 2.6% is the, the next biggest religion. Then Buddhism, 2.4%. And the most common religions, uh, they were the most common religions reported. But interestingly, Hinduism uh, was the most significant growth. 
even though it's not the next uh, religion down from Christianity, but between 2006 and 2016, it showed the most growth. We have to look at reasons why that happens. Uh, so Australia is increasingly a story of religious diversity with Hinduism, Sikhism, Islam, Buddhism, all increasingly common religious beliefs. Um, the growing percentage of Australian population reporting no religion has been a trend for decades and is accelerating. Those reporting no religion increased, uh, as I said, uh, dramatically from 2006 to 2016. Okay, so get hold of census data, look at past papers, uh, look at um, multiple choice questions referring to census data and look at why trends happen. Look at the, the data and look at areas, look at cities, look at countries and look at uh, immigration patterns, look at acceptance of refugees. Um, anything that can, can give you some sort of indication as to why something has happened with census data.